Hi everyone. We are back again this month with another Redeemer book club, uh, and which is not really a club, but it's more just kind of to show you what either me or someone else on our staff is currently reading at the time and because we want to encourage you in your learning and reading and growth as people of God and as leaders and as parents and as whatever the Lord is calling you to do. And um, uh, and so it's good for us to engage with new ideas and new voices. And so, uh, so I want to share with you what I'm currently reading right now. This happens to be one of my favorite books. I have in the past called this book uh, probably the most formative book I have ever read outside of the Bible itself, which is, that's a pretty significant thing to say. Um, I might change my mind at some point, but this is really, really important. It's, it has, to, it's not written from a Christian standpoint. And so we have to read it through our lens, uh, of the scripture. And so there's some things we have to go, well, I see where you're coming from, but probably not. But, um, but the, the book is called Failure of Nerve. It's written by Edwin Friedman. Friedman wrote this book in the 90s. Um, he, was, he was a rabbi um, and, uh, and a business consultant, worked in, in government consultant, and worked with a lot of different folks um, talking about systems within organizations and organizations meaning everything from a family that lives in a house together to a society at large. So anybody who's interacting with one another. And he bases a lot of his work on family systems theory or what's also called Bowen theory. Um, uh, there's one of the uh, podcasts that we did on the Always Forward podcast that some of you have listened to that we do with my role with the, with the province. We talk about this. And so it might be a, a place for you to go and learn some more if you'd like. But um, the... Uh, the premise of the book is really to help understand that that anxiety, and that doesn't mean just worry. That's a it's an aspect of of stress, and it's a really a, a heightened state of being. Uh, is not just in our minds, um, but and not even necessarily within us. It's something that happens between us, and so systems and how we deal with. Our interactions with one another, our um, our own opinions versus other people's opinions, um, how we take responsibility for our own emotional state as well, are all factors in how healthy we're going to be as a as a family or as a society as a whole. And uh, and so this is not just a it's not a psychotherapy book. It's not a self help book. It really is about. Uh, uh, understanding our mature response in what is largely an immature society. And the way that he describes maturity is taking responsibility for your own emotional state. And so instead of um, what he calls reactivity, so we hear something that we disagree with or, or even could be painful and we just react to it, uh, and hurting where then we gather other people around us to try to support our views, and then there is a... a um, Blame shifting, where we say, I'm feeling bad. And so instead of saying, why, why am I reacting this way to what I'm hearing? Instead, we, uh, we find, got to find who's causing us to feel this way, right? It's, it's always outward. And so we blame shift and then um, we have a quick fix mentality. So um, we've got to remove the person or the institution or the, the, the thing that we think is causing this pain, or we need to sue the doctor that didn't, that didn't meet our needs in the way that we want to. It's a quick fix. If we just fix that, then it's going to help us never does. We then just move on to the next thing that we get anxious about and blame shift and all those sort of things as well. And that ultimately what that results in is what he calls a lack of, of well-defined leadership. And so he calls, he says that what we really need are leaders and leaders aren't just positional leaders, not just politicians or pastors or, but anyone who is a, is, is a person of influence. And that means anyone in an, in an organization that can, that can, uh, can be bold about the, the, principles of right and wrong and about uh, how to take a well-defined stand um, that that remains emotionally connected with others, but then also pursues the right thing as well, rather than simply being reactive. And uh, and so what he, what he ultimately calls a non-anxious presence. And so that's a very, very brief 
overview of just the beginning parts of this. Uh, and so how, uh, how we deal with a culture that is chronically anxious, how we deal with this within our families, within ourselves, within our workplaces. Uh, he talks about having a little bit of a higher tolerance for, for pain um, and a difference between that something can hurt but not harm as well. So many wise statements in here that really can fundamentally change our understanding of how we interact with one another in the world and in our workplaces and can grow ourselves. We pray as from a Christian standpoint, participate with the Holy Spirit in sanctification to move to a place of maturity and better health and to be a non-anxious presence so that we can be a blessing to others as well. So again, you have to read this and then translate it through a Christian worldview. Uh, I'm having our cohort who are discerning a call to ordination in the diaconate read this right now as well. I work with our church planters and some of the people that I coach through this book as well. I'm reading it again right now. It's one of the only books that I've reread besides the Bible. Uh, and this is probably my fourth time through it. So there you go. A failure of nerve. I would encourage you to, uh, to check it out, read it for yourself. Redeemer Book Club, June 2023.